I end up using a digital camera a lot to document things, whether it's, you know, badges on equipment, documenting, you know, maybe wear things, or digital copies of hard printed instruction manuals, schematics, or a lot of times electronics, you want to get the whole PCB board laid out. And while digital cameras have increased in performance a lot over the last few years, what I have found is that the focal lens on most is very poor. This program Microsoft put out a long time ago, Image Co Composite Editor, is going to allow you to stitch images together, kind of like how a panoramic uh, photography would be done. And you can see it has like the actual different edges on there, and it'll actually try and link parts together. So even if they're not perfect images butting up, it'll allow you to do that. And there's some pretty cool features built into this. It's kind of funny, most people aren't aware this program existed, and I believe the support is down. If you go and download it, it actually just brings you to dead links now. Done some things with Photoshop and whatnot. But if you go to these main download links, um, they're both dead. And it's not like you can just use the download center and search for it or whatever the Microsoft app thing is of the day. CNET does have the older version. I think it's 1.44 available. So uh, check it out there. I'll post a link for this. It's kind of funny. Microsoft never even gave this its own icon. Truly kind of a behind the scenes type program. This is really cool. There's three ways to import things. You can just do kind of like a manual panorama. Um, and that's typically what I do. It'll use its intelligence to try and stitch the images together. The disadvantage of that is if you load too many redundant or just kind of, if you give it too much noise, it tends to have trouble with that. Structured is where you can actually say, okay, this one is to the left of that. That's helpful if you only have like two or three images. And they also have this video panorama. I've only used it once or twice, but essentially you can just take a video and then capture the individual shots you want to use out of that. That'd probably be the most helpful. But when I was really deep in using this program, I was back when I had a Pentium 4. There was just not the CPU power there to go through video. But let's just take a look at how we can do this. So I'll, I'll create a new file. And uh, what I have here is uh, several images of just a basic transformer-based power supply. The idea is, you know, a lot of times it's pretty easy, you know, four screws, you can pop the case and take some images of this to get a good idea, uh, both for physical inspection. It's a lot easier to look at on a monitor where you can zoom in on things. If you want to be able to pull any of the text or the labels on the parts, you can, particularly if you're trying to take images of that you can do that um, but then also just you know this is the focal limitations of that camera and I could not get everything in one shot but what I can do here is I can just go in ignore that one that's me having already run, run it but I'll, I'll just select the individual images that appear to have unique content to them so that's about half of them and that's typically how I'd run this and when I open this up it's actually going to attempt to do this on its own and you can see it's it's actually generated a very good image here you get a decent amount of options different ways to play around with it and the one thing i would recommend is if you save it to jpeg you're going to lose a lot of the quality but obviously those details are sometimes needed so just kind of try and crop it down to what's usable if you're going to be putting it in any sort of formal documentation obviously you want to don't want to have jagged cut off on the edges so that's where you would really want to make sure you, you get those extra images to fill it in all the way. But when we export this, so this is the one I just generated. So within a matter of one or two minutes, I was able to stitch those images together pretty well. And you can see that I have a pretty good ability to zoom in and manage these. And of course you could save this on a smartphone or tablet or whatever you need if you wanna be referencing it in field. But th that's a pretty darn good image. So check this program out, it's really helpful for documenting and if you happen to have a link to this out there for the newer version i'd love to have access to it so please share in the comments below otherwise i'll post links to the version that is still available and then the microsoft's page which is still out there for it and give this thing a try because i i really love this program well as always have a good night thanks